Hello, um, and this is the problem I'll be working on today. Um, it's 2002 BC on um, free response question four. So, um, and if so, we're given this graph, and this graph is um, function g um, equal to in integral of um, function f, and we're um, asked to find g, g prime, g double prime. So yeah. Um, the first part is pretty easy, we just plug in negative 1 to here. Since um, we can't redo from 0 to negative 1, because, I don't know, we're going negative direction, so we can just um, flip this and um, put a negative sign in front. So it'll be from negative one to zero, and um, yeah. So so same f t d t, and we, if we just look at the graph, we can tell um, from negative one to um zero, we are trying to look for the area. Oh yeah. So um the area we know the height is three, and times one since it's a width and divided by two, and yeah it equals um negative three halves yeah and um we bring a negative sign from here and then we move on derivative of g and when we take derivative of both sides it will just um equal to ft which is pretty easy so yeah when is negative one f equals zero so it's zero <laughs> um second derivative of g It will um, equal to derivative of f and um, if we look over here we can tell um, it is going um, it is decreasing and um, just do the slope and slope is um, rise over run it rose um, 3 over run of 1 so um, yeah, it's three. So yeah, the r rise over run. Uh, Alright, there you go. It's, it's part A, part B. Um, for what values? of x and over an interval is g increasing so um yeah so we find which part of g is increase increasing so um hmm how to do this oh yeah it's just it's not that hard just um look at look at the graph since um oops from this equation we can tell um this is uh, the area of um, f is the actual g value so if we just look at the function f it equals the derivative of g g of x so when f is positive um, g function g is increasing and um from negative one to one is where um f is positive so um the answer is from negative one to one Let's see. For what values of x in ocean in rule negative two to two is a graph of g concave down. So um when we are asked for the concavity of g, um it is asking us what's the second derivative of g. And um the second derivative of g is just the derivative of f. And um so we are just looking for uh, the parts of derivative um, f is that is um, decreasing so the slope of this part is um, going up which is positive and the line over here is going down which is negative so we can tell it's from 0 to 2 
Oh, so now um, you are going to sketch your graph G on a closed interval. Okay. Um, so from the graph, um, just re remember we are looking at the um, derivative graph. And um, yeah, so let's sketch it. So we don't really know the C value, so we don't know where um, function G starts, but I'll just assume it's zero. So um, when it's negative two, um, the function uh, function G is decreasing, so it will be um, curving down, and um, oops, and when we hit one. It, it should um, have a local minimum because the derivative is zero, so it stopped decreasing, and then um, it become positive again. So, yeah, and we also know that um, the areas over here and here, this part and this part is equal, which means um, function g goes back to um, the s the same point, the same um, y value. And then um, for the next part, it's uh, increasing again. And then um, when it hit, when it hits one, it's a local maximum. Um, yeah, because the derivative is zero. And then um, it goes down again. And for the same reason that um, this area and um, this area is the same, we also know it goes back to the same y value. And um, yeah, that's it. <laughs>